Hi guys, this is Alex with another tech update uh, here from uh, Cody's HQ. Um, so let's keep it short and sweet. Let's jump into it. So we are nearing the completion of Q1 of 2023 and let's recap of what we have achieved, uh, what we have been working on and what we are planning to work in the near future. So uh, Q1 started with the launch, a successful launch of the JET project, which is a stable coin on the Cardano blockchain. Uh, the launch went beyond our expectations. Uh, as we previously uh, released to the media, uh, JET has, has its own uh, product roadmap. Uh, we are planning additional uh, enhancements in the future in order to ensure uh, the protocol's uh, overall stability and of course uh, optimize its performance. So this project uh, is going really, really well. Uh, we are seeing the numbers, we are really pleased. And as the Cardano ecosystem continues to evolve, uh, we will find additional use cases and this will drive uh, the JED uh, adoption. And of course, it will also benefit our community in a form of rewards that are going to be distributed in Cadi's treasury. So that's on JET. So moving to the next topic, which is the government's token, GCOTI. So as you probably know, we have recently generated and minted uh, the token on top of our Multiduck 2.0 blockchain. And we are now, basically we passed the, the product requirements, uh, we passed the functional requirements, the front, you know, the backend team already finished the infrastructure preparation to the launch of the distribution mechanism that are going, we are going to announce uh, really soon. Uh, where we at at this moment is that we are going to actually today, we are going to do a live demo of the user interface. We are going to sit with all the stakeholders within the organization to review, um, you know, the front end in, in terms of uh, usability, user experience, uh, you know, gather all the input in order to make sure that we release a good quality product as we uh, always uh, try to do. So that's on GCOTI. Um, a small remark, uh, right now, based on our uh, timelines, we con currently anticipate that we are going to hit the April uh, release milestone. So this is big, so stay tuned. It's coming soon. And we will, uh, we will basically just stay tuned to the media, right? We are going to post articles about the distribution mechanism, how it's going to work. Um, one thing that, that I can say at this point is that you will need a Viper account in order to participate. So if you don't have one, uh, you can go to pay.cadi.io and just subscribe, register, and be ready to participate in the GCADI uh, distribution. Uh, however, we are also looking into different solutions to enable people that don't hold a Viper account to participate in this program. So recently there were a lot of chatter on our public uh, channels uh, relating, related to the enterprise uh, project that uh, we discussed and mentioned in the Medium articles and you know on all of our uh, public um, channels. So let me give you a quick update where we at. So we finally uh, closed the business requirements for this project. We spoke with uh, with our you know with the enterprise. Uh, we are now 100% sure in terms of what um, we need to deliver. The client is satisfied. Everything is ready to go. At this point, I'm personally focusing on the product requirements and the functional requirements of this offering. Uh, in addition, why is this project is so important? It's important because it's directly tied to Quadi Pay business, right? Because we are not building a custom uh, one-time off uh, offering for a particular enterprise. Rather, we are building Quadi Pay business that will enable us to onboard additional enterprises and additional use case uh, use cases to the ecosystem. And this, of course, will translate into uh, newly generated tokens on top of our trust chain. It will boost uh, the transaction rate uh, on the trust chain. And of course, uh, you know, the fees will find their way into treasury. So this will benefit the community as a whole. So again, we are building something generic that we will be able to onboard uh, new clients uh, to this new platform rather than just saying, okay, let's focus on one enterprise and who is this enterprise? So the identity of, of the enterprise 
is not the important part here. The important part here, we are building a big business enablement platform that will enable us to onboard new clients and basically drive forward the adoption of our trust chain. So that's on the enterprise updates. Let's not call it enterprise, let's call it Cody Pay Business, all right? So what else do I have for you? So Treasury 2.0. Uh, as you know, we recently released the Treasury 2.0 white paper. Currently, we are working with the business stakeholders within the organization to finalize the business requirements for this product. Uh, I can share with you that the first actual feature that we are going to release that is directly related to Treasury 2.0 is the APY boost. And the APY boost basically relates to the release and distribution of GCOTI. And this feature will enable uh, the holders of GCOTI to actually enhance the APY ratio that they are receiving within Treasury uh, based on their deposit there. So that's, again, great news for all of the Treasury participants. Uh, additional thing uh, that I think is important to mention, as you know, as we are currently in the bear market and everyone is experiencing uh, this market, uh, of course, we are filling the market itself as well. Um, you know, regardless, we are uh, continuing to grow our development teams. We are actually hiring uh, additional developers. Uh, I myself am uh, hiring a product owner that will enable us to uh, make our uh, delivery chain more efficient. And this will increase our bandwidth and our ability to deliver a, a lot of more features and address a lot of uh, projects simultaneously. So that's uh, that's important to mention. And I'll finish up with the with the last news is that our infrastructure team, the, the trust chain team is working in order to progress the decentralization of our chain. And one of the major features that are planning to release in the near future is basically node health. So what is Node Health? Node Health will enable the nodes to report their health, overall health and stats to the network. And where this meets the users, for example, when you will go to your Viper uh, wallet and you will have a choice to select a particular node that you wish to process your transaction through, it's really important for the users to understand what is the state of this node. Is it synced with the network? Is it healthy? as uh, the load on this node uh, will enable a fast uh, transaction pace. So this is an important feature that we're going to release uh, shortly. So I think this sums things up. As always, like we said, we are always continuing to build. Uh, we are sticking to our roadmap. We are trying to hit those milestones. And thank you for watching and stay cutting.